The following review is going to be on Kingdom Voyager Rhinox. Stay tuned. Rodham Spill here once again, and today we're going to do a review on Kingdom Voyager Rhinox, part of the Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy. First, we'll take a look at the box. There is the War for Cybertron trilogy logo, the Transformers Generations, Takara Tomy, Rhinox, uh, Voyager class, and there is some art of him in his robot and rhino mode. <clears throat> uh, let's see, he is a maximal. WFC-K27. There is the Kingdom poster. On the bottom is UPC. I know some people like those. And on the back, we have Robot to Rhino in 35 steps. Now, watching the other reviews, this guy is a little more complicated than the other ones. And a side note, if you want to get this guy and many other Transformers, make sure you click on below in the description. There is a link to BigBadToyStore.com with $4 flat shipping, which is pretty cool. All right, now let's open this guy up and uh, see what he looks like. Now, I think I'm going to start opening these guys up on camera. That way you see the actual unboxing and what they look like. All right, so let's open up Rhinox. <clears throat> there is Rhinox. Oops. Uh, looks like he's got his two weapons. Nothing on the back. And, uh, all right, let's get them out. So you got to cut all these little things in. Cut all the clips in. You've got the two weapons, which is pretty cool. All right. Uh, and, up. Oh, I missed the hands. They do too many of these stupid things. I know they don't want them theft in the store. Now what? Oh, yeah. And, all right, so, first let's look at the instruction booklet. <clears throat> all right, <clears throat> Transformers, Rhinox, War for Cybertron trilogy. Up oh, and of course, um, like they've been doing a lot lately, he is not transformed properly. So I guess what you do is, oh, okay, you just put the weapons, you can hook them up to the back and that's it. Then I guess he's transformed right. Oh, the rhino head. How did that get in there? Oh, the rhino head is somehow... Wow. They don't make it easy on... Maybe this was a bad idea. Alright, so... Let's see. Steps are pretty good. Nice green in contrast with the white. And, um, I guess that's it. There's weapon storage in the Rhino, but that's part of transformation. And now let's look at Rhino, Rhinox. Ah, first, let's look at the car. Now, which car did we get? And we've got the... Oh, my God, they even taped the card in. All right, and we've got the, there's the golden disc, Black Arachnia. Is it a new card? I wonder. There is Black Arachnia in a robot mode. And then you peel the sticker back, and there she is again in her full mode. All right, so that's not a big deal. It's Black Arachnia. We, ooh, we've seen her before. And now we will look at Rhinox. First, since we look at the instruction booklet, let's look at his weapons. And are they identical? Let's see. Uh, yep, and they look identical. They've got a five millimeter port and it's the same weapon. And let's get Rhinox over here. Now, <clears throat> the very first instructions say you can put them Oh, back here. Oh, that's it? Usually the instructions, the, their package, either not transformed all the way. And that's usually the first thing they show you, but in this one, they don't. Okay. No big deal. 
And now look, let's look at Rhinox. <clears throat> we'll get a close up. And he is nice. I never had any of these Beast War figures, so all like all these are like new toys to me. And he's mostly green, <clears throat> maybe uh, gold, some silver teeth, and he's got orange eyes. His head is green, gold, and he's got orange eyes, which are pretty cool. Again, I like the the texture of all the uh, Beast Wars in this whole kingdom line. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can see obviously the metal robot parts. You got a fake bottom jaw because there's the real jaw right now. You got some gold for the crotch pieces. You got green on the thighs and going down. He's got ooh, he's been working out at the gym. Definitely been leg day, that's for sure. Uh, you come back here, you can see the rhino toes, but it's black for his toes. Uh, basically, you see where his arms are. Uh, there's the other arm. And uh, I like he's got some white. He's got uh, lighter shade spots. And on the back, he's got some kind of backpack. I wonder if there's the way they could have easily like folded this up. But he's got some backpack. But you can see, see the rhino's got red eyes. Uh, these are pretty hard plastic, too. I'm surprised. Um, let's see, can you lift this up? Nope. You really can't lift it up, but we'll get him to later during the transformation. So, uh, overall, he's a pretty cool figure. And this is just first impressions right out of the box. He's pretty bulky. But now let's see what his articulation is like. <clears throat> the head will do 360 degrees. Oh, you got up and down movement. The arms. Ooh, nice tight joints, too. You got uh, 360 rotation. They go out all the way. I like how they have these little added joints, too. That's a butterfly joint. Let's see. Um, oh, he's got movement with the arms. You can move them in, which is pretty cool. Elbow, uh, almost 90, and then this does rotate 360 degrees, and then the hands, no rotation on the hands at all. Uh, waist, uh, he hits this, right now he hits the, he doesn't really rotate 360 because he hits the thing. But we'll look at that later when we transform them. Again, the arm is the same way. I do like, though, how you can move his arms in and out, which is pretty cool. Again, you got the elbow, not quite 90 bend, but it does rotate. And let's see, foot. You got the 90 degrees front. Uh, well, if you move him to the side, you got 90 degrees back. You got the full split. You got upper thigh rotation. You got knee, more than 90 degrees, and you got a foot rocker, but that's about it for the foot. Other foot, you got almost 90 front, 90 back. Oh, you got knee rotation, and let's see. I oh, know that is the upper thigh rotation. Is that? Yeah, it just rotates right there, upper. And upper thigh rotation, not the knee. Knee, again, more than 90 degrees. And that is Rhinox in a nutshell. All right. Let's do some comparisons with other... Oh, and the hands. Let's see. You can put them in here. So he's got his big guns. I don't know how he's supposed to have his guns. I never had the original figure, so I know these were big. And so... There's his guns like that, and I know you can combine them because you've got two big tabs and two slots, so can you combine them like this? Yes, you can combine them like that. I wonder if this is a thing, him holding it like that, but I don't know. But why would you have a gun like that? It makes no sense. Okay, before we get back to Rhinox, let's do some... Uh robot to robot comparisons and our first comparison we're gonna bring in leader class beast Megatron so that is a leader versus a Voyager and then we're gonna bring in Voyager Dinobot 
and Voyager Optimus Primal. Now, <clears throat> Optimus Primal is a small Voyager size, and Dinobot, I think, is the tallest. And that is how all those guys. And then here's uh, Cyclonus as part of Kingdom line. And we'll do the Optimus Prime from the Netflix, or Earthrise, both Voyagers. <clears throat> Now again to deluxes. First we're going to bring in our two fossilizers, Paleotrex and um, Ractite. That's how those guys compare. And then we're going to bring in all our deluxes. We've got Cheetor. We've got Air Razor. And for this we're going to bring in Black Arachnia. So that has all the beasts in their deluxe size. And we're just going to be in our two non-Beast Kingdom Deluxes. We got Huffer and Warpath. And then we're going to bring in our little guys, Vertebrake and Rat Trap, our core class contain, um, figures. And that is it for Robot to Robot. Now let's get some transforming. And we're actually going to do one more comparison. We're going to do Kingdom Leader Class Galvatron. <clears throat> so that's the Leader Class compared to the Voyager Class. Now, <clears throat> to transform them, first you want to take the weapons off. And just <clears throat> to let you guys know, I always transform my, my figures right as they come in the box. So if they come in robot mode, I'm going to start in robot mode. And if they come in... <clears throat> vehicle mode, I will start in vehicle mode, and I'll go back, because a lot of reviewers don't show you the other way, and some are real easy one way, but hard the other way. This guy is a lot easier to go into dino mode, or rhino mode, than rhino mode to robot mode, and you'll see that in a few minutes. Now, first things first, what you want to do is come to the hands, pull this, this piece goes up like that, pull the arm in or the hand in and close it and turn it around. Other hand, pop this up, Just go, it goes right up with the elbow. So there is the joint in case you get confused which way it goes. <clears throat> goes up, pull this in, <clears throat> close that up, and turn it. Now, <clears throat> next you want to pull the chest out, fold this in half, <clears throat> and put it in. And that's really, really neat. I like how they did that. Here you can turn the head around. <clears throat> now, what you want to do is you got to move these twice. So, let's get this guy right in the middle, give you clearance. What you want to do is move the arm forward rotate it and now push this back like that okay so arm forward rotate it and push this whole thing will snap back and like I said it's a clearance issue there you go <clears throat> and that is that <clears throat> now comes the hard part the bottom of the legs all right so what you want to do is we'll start one leg at a time. Untab it. You got that tab and that slot where you untab it. Now you bend them at this one joint. See this one joint's up and down. And this other joint is up and down the other way. So you got this one goes up and down and you got this one. So when you get to the foot, what you want to do is this is the tail. So you want to fold that out like that. Lift this foot up, turn it, and put it down. And then come to the other side, take the foot. Now you want a foot into, so you want to take the foot, turn it, rotate it, and you're going to get this tab into one of those slots. Oh, you know what? I did that wrong. Okay, this tab will go into that slot and you'll see why and if you if you get confused this tab's eventually going to go in here okay <clears throat> let's get the other one done while we're here so rotate at that one pull this out 
pull this up. There's one joint, here's the other joint. Pull out the tail of the butt, pull this up, rotate, <clears throat> pull it down. The foot, rotate it like that. Let's see, turn it 90 degrees, and then snap that in. Okay, so, now what you want to do <clears throat> is, oh, these, make sure these are pushed down all the way, because these rotate, you want them all the way down, all the way, and these, you just want to get, get those out of the way. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put this underneath here. So that's going to go underneath here. And this, you're just going to take it and you're going to rotate it around. And those snap in there. And you have a little tab right there. And you have a slot here. So you just got to push this in, push it out. And <clears throat> there you go. And like I said, this is a lot easier to go in this mode than the other way and his legs all done you just have a lot of it's it's too confusing so you want to put this underneath here so as you put that underneath there come here and then you can just take this and rotate it around now it'll, feel, it'll sound like you're gonna break it but that's pretty good and then you just got to get this so it, it pegs in here nice and straight. Now let's get, put the butt together. See the tail is stationary. You can't move the tail. So let's make sure he looks pretty good. That side that side's perfect right there. This side we got to work on a little. So oh, there we go. I'm just going to use a little force. And these will pop off all the time. They're just like little friction hinges. All right. So I think this was the easiest I've ever transformed this guy. Now, when these are set up and line up, this peg will go into that slot. But first, what you want to do is you want to put these together so the two handles are facing the same way, like that. Now you have these two pegs are gonna go in that green right there. So, a handle sticking out, and you just gotta stick this in one. There you go. See, that's in one hole. Close the legs together. Uh, nope, that's kinda tricky. Let's see, that goes in, there is that hole. This goes in the other hole. There we go, let's put the butt together. And the last part, if you did everything right, <clears throat> you can close them up. This tab will go in there, and this tab will go in here, and he's, pretty solid and you can fix this stuff there we go and that's it and that is Rhinox in his rhinosaur mode rhino mode <laughs> there you go <clears throat> and he's uh he's pretty cool he's um mostly a gray and you've got a lot of this spotting right here here and it's kind of smooth up here but then there's texture right here. And um, yeah, you do see some of the green, but you really can't make it, you really can't do anything with that. So let's look at the face. You got the orange eyes. And I'm actually, these are pretty sharp. I'm surprised they didn't make these more flexible. But you got that, look at that face. You got that red orange eye, you got the nose. You even got some of the texture there on the face. You got the ears are pretty much detailed. Come down here, the arm or the one. Uh, you got some of those like light gray splotches down the down the leg, and you got some in the back. And this is smooth. I'm surprised they didn't make this texture, but they did. 
<clears throat> and then you go over the back leg. Now the back legs don't do much, but as we come around here, you got that fake tail. You can't really do anything with it. <clears throat> and you come around here again. And yes, from this angle, they do have the green on the back of the legs, but you can't do much with that. Uh, they could have used gray up here, but then you would have seen it in robot mode. But all in all, he's a pretty cool rhino. And um, let's see, articulation, the feet, you can move in, so you can have them doing that for some reason. And then these, you can move all the way around if you want to, but then you're kind of pulling them out. Same with the other arm, like that. And then the back legs, <laughs> they move that far forward, that far back, and they move in. So you really don't have much articulation. But all in all, it's you really compact all his legs and and uh, his. I like how they do his chest is pretty cool. And oh, let's do his mouth now. Like I said before, there's a little tab there. So when you push on this, you open the mouth, and you can see the tongue is painted pink. You got silver teeth on the front, all along, down the back. And you just got that. But when you're in robot mode, you can either do this in robot mode or you can have this flip down so you see that. But that makes it more look um, a lot better. All right, now let's do some beast mode comparison. And our first beast mode comparison, we're going to bring in leader class beast Megatron. So that's how those guys compare. <clears throat> And I'm going to bring in leader class Galvatron. So that is how those guys compare. Next, we're going to stick with the animals. <clears throat> we're going to bring in Optimus Primal. And we're going to bring in Dinobot. Now, all three of these are Voyager figures. <clears throat> so they, they look a lot different in um, animal mode than they do in robot mode. Robot mode, they're all about the same size, but as you can see, he's real nice and long. He's taller. He's a lot fatter. And there's Optimus Primal. <clears throat> now we're going to bring in the Deluxes. So we've got Air Razor. Uh, we'll just do Air Razor. Cheetor. And Black Arachnia. And we we'll, might as well, we're going to bring in a little rat trap and vertebrae. So that is all the beast, deluxes, and core class. And now we're going to bring in our two fossilizers. Here is Paleotrex, and here's Ractonite. Those are two deluxes. And, well, since I already transformed these guys, these are our non-beast Kingdom Deluxes, Warpath, and Huffer. <clears throat> and that is all for vehicle mode. And actually, well, you know what, we're just going to bring in everybody right now. We're just going to bring in the whole cast of all the beasts. Let's see if I could fit them all in here. And we got Cheetor back there. And we got Rack tonight. Uh, let's see. Paleo tracks. We're going to get one good group shot. We'll stick this guy here. And we got Rat Trap there. And I'll put Black Arachnia there. So there are all our beasts right there. And we'll get all these guys out of the way. Okay. And that is it for all our alt mode um, comparisons. Now let's transform him back to robot. Now, back to robot is going to be a little harder than into rhino. So, first you want to do is split the butt. And let's get rid of his weapon. There. Now once we have that out of the way, step one is to fold these out. <clears throat> Remember, they're tabbed in, so once you tab this in, you allow everything else to be pulled out. So, and then we'll untab this. 
but we'll just push this in, untab it, push that into untab it, and we'll take this whole thing, split at the butt, and we'll take this, and we'll just pull it back here, and we'll do for the other side. Now, <clears throat> this is where it gets hard. So, let's see if we can do this. Foot, as you fold the foot in, rotate it, put it in there, take the tail, and push that back, okay? We'll do the same for the other side. As this goes up, you rotate it, you put it back, and then this folds up. Now, and it's all on these things too. So what you gotta do, oh, let's do the foot. So let's untab the foot, swing this out, rotate this around, okay? So now what you gotta do is, you, you, it feels like you're gonna break it, but you gotta move this this way, and this you push forward at the same time. So as you do this, you got both these moving. And, uh, all right, there's leg one. So what you wanna do is, this tab will go into the slot. Everything else just lines up. And we got a foot done. <laughs> All right, second one. So, as you bring this, you got to bring them both. This is where you feel like it's going to break. Say, I don't like that clicking sound, but oh, the foot. There. So, uh, oh, you got that goes all the way. So now this. Oh, that did it. Okay, then this tab goes into here. And then these you can swing out to the side. So that wasn't bad. That was probably the best thing I ever had with this. And I've transformed him for a week now. I know I'm a week late on the review, but I unexpectedly got tickets, as a side note, to Game 7 of the Tampa Bay Lightning versus New York Islanders, because I live in Tampa Bay. Go Bolts! <laughs> All right, these... So you want to rotate these right now. Later on, you're just going to push them up. So, pull the chest out, <clears throat> unfold it, and then these you want to, you got to push, let's see, how, what's the easiest way to do this? Rotate these, and then pull this out and rotate that. I guess that's it. So, it's on a double hinge, so you want to rotate these in and then you gotta just get enough clearance where you can rotate that out like that and these don't snap in so that's the bad part snap this in rotate the head now this is what I was talking before <clears throat> you got options with the head you can keep it like that which looks good or you could push and you could open it and push it down but you see that they didn't paint that. So your best option is just to close the fake, the, the, the real mouth like that and then push this down. All right, next to the arms, rotate at the elbows. Again, you want to lift this up, swing out the arms, close this up, <clears throat> rotate, swing this out. This goes up with that, and then this goes up, and this goes up. And he's back to normal. And then these, you push up like that, push them up, so they get nice and straight with his chest. <clears throat> and now he is back to his robot mode. And his weapons, these are, I don't know why these are weird weapons. I mean, you put them in your hand and they just shoot like that. I hear the generation 31 is a lot better, but maybe they'll do an upgrade kit and have better weapons. And that is Rhinox. Um, like I said, doing the legs, you think that something's going to break, but it's just the way everything folds in on itself. And I know a couple reviewers have had problems with these. But it's just, they're too convoluted, there's too much rotating stuff, 
and you think these are they they you think they're gonna snap and break. That's what my fear is. One of these days, there's gonna be a lot of people breaking their rhinoxes because that silly little as that gets pushed back in. Let's try that again. Now that goes like that. Yeah. So um, he's not the greatest figure. I don't like how these arms. You know, you you can't really get a good. You know, they have all this extra stuff, and they're not really that strong. But it's just the way they are with this move-in piece, and he's kind of, like, flat. But <clears throat> all in all, that's Ryan Ox for you. Um, he's not bad. You know, big backpack is the rhino head, but, yeah, you got a lot of hollow stuff in the back. You got, basically, it's all hollow in the back, the way these things transform, but his feet seem solid. Um, that's about it. And you see, they even, really, they could have done these gray. They don't really, you don't really need them green in robot mode anyway, unless you want them all solid across that. But, <clears throat> I guess that's about it for Rhinox. Not the best Kingdom figure, not the worst. Um, I do like uh, the big fake jaw. That's a huge jaw compared to this real size one. His weapons aren't that great, but I never had a Rhinox figure. I got out of Transformers before the Beast Wars came. So, I was 11 when Transformers came out. So, when Beast Wars came out, I was in middle school, starting high school. And it was... Probably didn't collect them then. And also, another figure where you can't weaponize. Again, they have these great fossilizers in the Kingdom line... Yet, very few figures you could fossilize. So, all right, that's about it. I'm rambling on and on, so I'll stop now. Uh, don't forget to check out Big Bad Toy Store with the link below. Check out there for the latest Transformers. Check out my playlists. Check out my channel. You'll find me on, like, a couple of Facebook pages, Addicts, Generations 1. All that good stuff. Uh, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and... Uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to repeat, beat the Montreal Canadiens in NHL for all you NHL fans. Go Bolts. Rhinox out. Go Bolts.